Your powers of observation continue to serve you well. But wait! It is to Madame Justice that I dedicate this concerto in honor of the holiday she seems to have taken from these parts, and in recognition of the imposter that stands in her stead. Tell me, do you know what day it is, Evie? Um, November the 4th. Not anymore. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. First, the overture. Yes. Yes, the strings. Listen carefully, can you hear it? Now the brass. I can hear it. Look outside, Mummy. The fine music. How did he do that? Wait. Here comes the crescendo.
are you? 30 years in the future. We are fighting a war. Our enemy is not human. And we are losing. In 11 months time, all human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the earth. Unless you help us. We need you. Our fathers, mothers, and grandparents. We need you to fight beside us if we stand a chance at winning this war. This is a joke. You are our last hope. WHO has been assessing this outbreak around the clock and we're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Pandemic is not a word to use lightly or carelessly. It's a word that, if misused, can cause unreasonable fear or unjustified acceptance that the fight is over, leading to unnecessary suffering and death.
red letter date in the history of science? November 5th, 1955. Yes, of course, November 5th, 1955. Why, I don't get what happened. <laughs> that was the day I invented time travel. Thank you for saving me, Lord, not because you looked at me and saw I was doing so good and you said I deserved something, but because I was in all my filth and you loved me enough to clean me up, pick me up.